So in this video, I'm going to do a play review of Trifles, written by Ramon Macklin. So this, is, this analysis wasn't written by me, uh, your Professor H. This analysis was written by uh, Ramon Macklin, and he was the one who reviewed the play Trifles. And so he saw the play, at, he saw Trifles as a play and not as the movie. So, but he does, but he goes over the symbolism of the story. In Susan Glassbell's Trifles, symbolism is a significant highlight for understanding the play. Glassbell writes about a woman, Mrs. Wright, who killed her husband because she blamed him for her sad, tedious life. The two characters who solved the murder, while the county uh, attorney and sheriff thought of different strategies the crime for, for, for solving the crime. It was actually Mrs. Hale and Mrs. Peters who solved the crime. Glassbell used symbolism as clues to whereas only the women were able to understand and put the pieces together of why Minnie Wright killed her husband. The two ladies showed that the female perspective can be just as important as the male perspective. The first example is the jar of cherries. When the county attorney and sheriff were looking for evidence or clues in the kitchen, they look at Mrs. Wright preserves that went bad. The women later noticed there was one left that was still decent. The jar of preserves shows the final secret in reason to complete the case for the prosecutor. Mrs. Wright was the last jar on the shelf until her la life broke down. And so the jar represents the hours and dedication of labor to make them, to make the day go by in her long and tedious life. Minnie Wright would uh, make, the, make them, in other words, the pickling jars, uh, to give her something to look forward to in the winter. The men, however, look at the pickling jars as a joke. The second example of symbolism was shown in the play when the country a county attorney asserted that Minnie was going to quilt the um, patchwork, but nodded it. Well, Henry, at least we found out that she was not going to quilt it. She was going to knot it. What is it you call it, ladies? This, that line at the end of the play shows that Mrs. Wright knew how to tie a knot, symbolizing she killed her husband by strangling him with a rope. With that being said, it shows the bond of some women have that is relatable to a knot. The two ladies have solved the murder, but kept it as an oath to keep it secret. The, mess the messy stitching of the quilt remains unfinished, and that could represent the incomplete crime of Mrs. Wright. The third example was when they noticed the dead bird and its cage. As the ladies were trying to pick up a few things for Mrs. Wright, so Mrs. Wright's currently being held in jail, so Mrs. Wright uh, and so the other two ladies uh, come to the house in order to pick up some of Mrs. Wright's personal effects. They notice a broken door on a bird's, on a bird's cage with the mystery of a missing bird. They later discovered the bird wrapped up in a sewing box with his neck twisted. In the play, Mrs. Hale relates Minnie, Mrs. Wright, to the bird. Come to think of it, she was kind of like a bird herself, real pretty and sweet, but kind of timid and fluttery. The bird's cage is the main climax of the play because Minnie felt she was caged like a canary. The bird also refers to Mrs. Wright's life a long time ago when she used to sing in the choir. Mrs. Hill reminisces on it, I wish you could have seen Minnie Foster when she wore a white dress with blue ribbons and stood up there in the choir and sang. She gave up utterly when her husband killed the bird. Since they don't have any children that were her, um, the bird was her only way of showing love and affection to something. So the two women understand Mrs. Wright killed him because when uh, she killed the bird, he killed her soul. Every trifle the two ladies found was very useful. The dirty kitchen shows Minnie's quick instinct on the murder. The dirtiness of the kitchen was also representing uh, her freeness of not fearing anybody anymore. The birdcage was showing her isolation and abuse. 
The stitches that were messed up in the quilt shows she was afraid of something. And last, the central puzzle in that story was a dead bird. The title, Trifles, shows how women and their duties were considered unimportant by men a long time ago. Uh, women were thought to be unimportant too. Looking back throughout the play, Glass Bell's symbolism show the bond that women have for each other. Uh, Glass Bell used certain clues that women, only women would comprehend and could relate to. At the end of the play, as Gas Glass Bell displays, you, the reader realizes men do not think the same as women do. So this is an interesting analysis of Susan Glassbell's play and about how the women solve the murder differently than the men and that the men overlooked any of the clues the, the women came up with and just thought whatever the women said, said or thought of were trifling. Hence the name of the uh, play, Trifles, is also symbolism. And so you have to ask yourself after reading this play, what was Susan Glassbell trying to say about men and women relationships back in the early 20th century? So this is a review done once again by Ramon Macklin. And I found that, his, that Ramon's review very, very excellent because he goes over all the different symbolism and he points out all the different um, you know, the analysis. He also points out the climax, and he also points out the relationship between the two, uh, between, the, between the women and the men. So I hope you found this uh, play review of trifles um, important and so that it could help you with your assignments. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me.